Hello everyone and welcome back to MixBuds TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. This video wasn't planned. Other videos were in line ready to be released, but the guys at Clangelm hooked us up with their new MJUC Varimu tube compressor plugin set. I couldn't wait to try it and as soon as I did it I was absolutely stoked. And I wanted to share this with you and let you know about this new plugin. You will hear your host being very excited about this one, but there's a lot to talk about and I'll try to go fast. Before we start with the overview and testing, Clangelm has a gift for all of us. They made a free version of this plugin, a little more limited in the controls, but as great sounding as the big brother. So go to their site and grab it. It's free and it sounds crazy good. Link in the info box down below. They also have other free plugins that you should get. But let's get to business with the MJUC. Clangelm already had one of my favorite plugins in their line, the Saturator SDRR, which is another one you need to check out if you don't know it already. But with the MJ, you see Tony really, and I mean really shortened the gap between hardware and software with this compressor. You know my point of view on the endless battle between hardware and software. At this point in time, the difference in sound between the two is not enough to make a difference in my opinion. And yet, there still are some nuances that are hard to match with plugins. Well, since I heard this plugin in action, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not a big fan of tube gear, a video on that subject will be up soon by the way, but I own some and I use it and it definitely is one of the most difficult topology for plugins to emulate. The MJ you see though, man, this thing is incredible. Let's take a look at it and then we'll listen to it in action. First of all, there are three different models. You can cycle through them switching from MK1, 2 and 3 with this button right here. They takes us on a journey across the evolution of Varimu compressors with these three models. According to the description, the first one is a design from the 50s. While is the more colored of the bunch, it also provides a very natural compression and it doesn't suffer from any audible thumping that most Varimu compressors show at high gain reduction and fast settings, giving this model a very thick and dense sound. So far, this is my favorite on vocals, uh, just so you know. Controls for this one are pretty simple and easy to set up. Another plus for me. Compress, makeup gain, six timing modes, comp and limit compression modes. The second model, MK2, is a recreation of one of the best compressors ever created, in my opinion, the 175-176 from the early 60s, which was the all-two predecessor of the studio standard 1176. It has four different ratios here, two, four, eight, and limit. This model has a variable attack and release that makes it more versatile than the other model and well-suited for many tasks, from single tracks to groups. A little more forward sounding, a little more rock and roll, we can say, than the previous model. I love it. Rich harmonic content, a great character. The MK3 model is the least colored, but it does have a sweet tone nonetheless. It's more hi-fi and modern sounding than the other models. It's almost, we could say, distortion free uh, for being a tube unit. Well suited for two bus and mastering tasks as the unit that is modeled around. Also great on vocals though. Very punchy on drums and percussive material in general. Also thanks to this additional punch control down here. I can say the whole set it can be considered the holy grail of plug-in compressor for vocals at this point in time. Both model number two and model number three have additional controls density and eye stage and they do make a lot of difference in sound and behavior i won't have time to go into detail too much in this video but trust me experiment with these controls because Klangelm is absolute king in creating great analog like texture with their complex algorithms under the hood is the same with their sdrr saturator but in short density engages a second varimu stage and the interstage engages the transformer emulation, making the compression more accentuated. And then we have some great features that are in common for all three models in the hidden panel that you can access down here. In my opinion, these are a big part of what sets this compressor plugin set apart from the crowd. It really makes this comp ahead of the rest. We have a dark hi-fi knob, which I absolutely love. 
it's subtle on some material and more obvious on some other is very dynamic the way it reacts when you turn this knob a gentle shift in tone happens it it can sweeten the top end like no other compression can or brighten up a vocal without turning it into harsh mess very very useful control Drive control, pretty self-explanatory. You can decide how much harmonic content and distortion to add independently from the amount of compression. Although it does depend also on how hard you compress the material. Again, every control is somehow linked to the other and it behaves like a real hardware unit. Then the always useful high pass filter to take the low end out of the sidechain circuit and avoid low end information to trigger the compression too much from off to 600 hertz very useful and finally the dry mix wet control for in-house parallel compression few other things to point out before hearing this thing in action because they did a really great job also with additional feature like size you can easily change the size of the gui to fit your screen if you are on a laptop or go full screen if you have the real estate i love that Auto gain compensation, very, very useful. Again, it automatically adjusts the output level when you compress. Every compressor should have this control. But you can also deactivate it and manually adjust the makeup gain if you need to. High quality, which asks a little more CPU power, but it definitely makes the compressor sound better. And this is not subtle, it's very noticeable. Try it yourself, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then the meter, you can click here in the bottom right corner and switch between in out gain reduction in out lastly the calibration if you need to calibrate the compressor differently from the standard the minus 18 db so packed with features sounds absolutely stunning and the crazy news is that is like 25 bucks i could not believe the price when i noticed it we live in a great time guys no way in hell you can find anything that sounds remotely as good as this for this price or 10 times more than that for that matter. So let's listen to this thing in action. I had this compressor for just one day, so I don't have a real life example to show you like a finished mix where I used it. And so we're gonna try it on this project that we are tracking right now at the studio, Klangelm MJUC on vocals. Let's start with the MK1. Town when you can't smell a thing, you watch your feet for cracks in the pavement. Up above, alien sober, making home movies for the fools back. Talking about density and thickness, it has such an organic feeling. It makes the vocals so thick and dynamically it controls it. As you see, I'm playing with the dark hi-fi knob and the, the drive knob as we go. So pay attention to that. And let's try the MK2, for example. The breath of the morning, I keep forgetting the smell of the world. Listen to the difference between hi-fi and dark. The breath of the morning I keep forgetting The smell of the words on my head I live in a town Where you can't smell a thing You watch your feet For cracks in the pavement Let's try the density Town where you can't smell a thing, 
You watch your feet for cracks in the pavement. All the way to Driven. Up above, alien sober, making home movies for the folks back home. Wow. Let me let me let me play again this bit. When he breaks is out of this world. Up above, alien sober, making home movies for the folks back home. Of this we creatures who are cup day spirits dream all in themselves. Let's hear it in solo. Up above. Alien sober, making home movies for the folks back home, man. All of these weird creatures who are cup day spirits dream all in themselves. I have never heard a plug-in sound this legit when it comes to tube overdrive. I'm being 100% honest, is incredible. Up above, alien sober, making home movies for the folks back home, man. All of these weird creatures who are cup day spirits dream all in themselves and they leave for the secret. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can hear it from YouTube too. It's it's silly. Um, as you can see, I have the auto gain compensation on, which comes in handy when uh, setting the compression because the overall level doesn't change. So I'm not uh, fooling you with level. Actually, I'm minus 2 dB on the output because you can also adjust the makeup gain when you have the AGC on. So let's try the MK3 without density and eye stage and let's put the dark hi-fi to unity up above alien sober making home movies for the folks back home man all of these weird creatures who are cup day spirits dream all in themselves and they leave for the sea As you can hear, the MK3 is actually the cleaner one, despite we put the drive knob all the way to driven. Let's hear how it performs on drums, for example. Put the meter in gain reduction. How to compensate. Sidechain. Without as you can hear, this model here is kind of slowish in his action. It might be even cool for this kind of drum, but probably I would use one of the other two models on drums. Let's try it. The MK2 has a pretty obvious drive, sweet sounding nonetheless. This could be interesting in parallel. Pretty damn sweet. Without. Damn. Let's go high quality and try the MK3. Very snappy. 
just listen to the difference switching on drums same settings mk2 and mk3 punch control really brings up the transients Very nice. Let me try a really quick on acoustic guitars, for example. Let's go HQ. MK2 I don't know about you if you're impressed half as I am impressed that you already bought this thing Two bus. on the whole mix right now you can hear how it starts to breaks when the vocals go up it's so sweet Obvious color, the MK1. I gotta stop because I could play with this thing for the next six days, not even hours. What else to say? Klangelm here really has a gem. I don't know, right now I feel like saying this is the best uh, sounding plugin compressor there is on the market. So what more can I say? I think it's pretty obvious how I feel about this plugin. Klangelm MJUC Verimu Tube Compressor Plugin Set. Don't forget to go to their site and grab a free version of this, first of all. And in my opinion, for 25 bucks, this is a no-brainer. It's chump change and you have maybe the best sounding compressor out there right now so this is it for today if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button it's important for the channel support mixbus tv by sharing the videos on your social media and forums join us on facebook and twitter to get updates and news and exclusive content subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time